Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today I've got a quick tip for you guys in Lightroom. And this is a new feature called the Dehaze tool that is part of the new Adobe Lightroom Creative Cloud. And this is a feature that I've only really started using, and I'm trying to see how it works in my workflow. And I've got an image here that I think is going to be really, really terrific. Now, what the Dehaze does is the Dehaze tool tries to kind of replicate or bring back light into areas or bring back detail into areas depending on which way you go that might be lost or or you know due to atmosphere or something like that i don't know i think that's what they're trying to say to me it's like a recovery tool it's like basically a way to recover details that might be lost or conversely it might be a way to add details because things have been darkened in this case i want to try to recover details that are in the background of this image that i have here all right, so let's go into the image. So I've got the image, I've got the image edited kind of like the way I like it because I'm editing for skin tones and I, I really like the exposure. I think it looks nice. Uh, by the way, this was shot with a Fuji X-Pro2 and the 56 um, 1.2 lens. Um, let's see, yeah, 1 500th of a second, F2, ISO 200 with the 56 1.2. Okay, very, very cool. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, guys, is that all the way down below here, in the effects area, there is the thing called dehaze. Now, I could just use this slider right here, boom, and I could bring back those details. But look what it does to my subject. My subject becomes mush. That's no good. Double clicking on that, I'm going to actually go in and I'm going to use a brush tool. So I hit the K key and that takes me to the custom brushes and there you go. There is the dehaze. So what I'm going to do is the first thing that I do and the first thing I really like to do with brush tools is that I want to create a layer and just paint it over the areas that I want to affect before I even go into applying my, um, my, my tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start painting in here and I want to see the overlay. So I'm going to hit the O key. And now I can see the overlay where I am overlaying this layer or this mask, I should say. And I only want to affect the background. I don't want to affect my subject because like I said, I really like the exposure that I have on my subject. So I'm just going to go in with broad strokes right now, try to fill in most of the areas that I can. And then I'll tighten it up and I'll go in a little bit closer and just fill in all the little areas that maybe I missed or that need to be touched up. So this, you know, just takes a little minute, just painting it in there, no big deal. And again, guys, like I said, with that overlay, you know exactly what areas you're affecting. So if you accidentally paint over an area you don't want to affect, you'll be able to see where you did it, and then you can erase that area if you need to. Or if you missed an area, you'll also be able to see that as well. All right, so we're just gonna keep painting over this, and we're just gonna hug the edges here. Hug the edges of the face, the head, boom. Hug the edges of the body, just let it all fill in, boom, like that. I'm gonna go and fill in this little bit right here, boom, right in there. Now I can see on my subject, I actually painted over her top and a little bit over her pants here and over her eye. So I'm gonna hold down the Option key and I'm gonna erase the areas that I inadvertently painted over because I, like I said, I only want to just apply this tool, this filter to my background. I don't want my subject's exposure to change. All right, guys, there you go. Very cool. Actually, let me just fix this up over here. We'll be able to see more once I pull out of this. Okay, great. So now I know that I've applied my um, brush tool and I've seen the overlay. I can hit the O key to remove the overlay and now I'm going to actually apply the effect. So I'm just going to dial in the dehaze. Boom. Look at that, guys. How awesome. How awesome is that? That's only 50%. Let's see 100%. Okay, 100% to me, way too much. Colors look mushy. Everything's too dark. So let's just find like a nice balance here. Maybe something like that. That's a pretty good start. Now, while I'm in here, okay, while I still have this pin, I can actually continue to affect some of the components of this layer. So let's say I wanted to, you know, in addition to dehazing, maybe I wanted to just reduce the clarity a little bit, you know, just to get rid of some of those midtones. And um, maybe I just wanted to just drop the saturation just a hair 
And these are just incremental adjustments here. Maybe I wanted to just reduce the contrast and just add a little bit of shadow, something like that. And there you go, guys. That to me is a completely transformed image. image. And look at the before and after. The before, that background is pure white, blown out. There's something really nice about that, okay? So I don't mind that. And here's the after, and that's really cool too. So I will save this as a, um, a snapshot, Oop, not a preset, a snapshot, which is Command N, and I'll call this Dehazed, boom. And then what I'll do is I'll go back into my history and I will grab, um, I'll grab one here and I'll call this one um, uh, just uh, edited, boom, okay. So there we go, and then we'll go back to our dehazed. So we've got our dehazed, and we've got our edited. So now I've got two potential options to present to my client. So there you go. That's a really cool new feature with Lightroom. I'm just starting to use it. I can imagine that for landscape photographers that are shooting like epic landscapes, that this is going to be a really fantastic tool. But I can also see how you can really create drama in your background without any of that weird ghosting and such with this tool. So that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you soon.